Hi, this is Coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Uh, a lot of you have asked me to get outdoors. Uh, a lot of times, you know, here in Central Florida, it's our beautiful time of year. So I figured I'd take it into my uh, backyard here a little bit and uh, just use this for a little background. So we got cars going by. We got leaf blowers going on. But that's not the point of our conversation today. The point of our conversation today is January is basically in the books by the time you're watching or you're listening to this. And let's face it, this is when the shine of the new year fades. This is when for most human beings, most advisors, the commitments, the habits, the resolutions, everything, you know, from the diet and exercise to the getting up early to the morning rituals is now becoming under siege for many of you. Studies have shown by February 15th, um, upwards of 80% of human beings have abandoned their New Year's resolutions, their goals for the new year. So in this video, what I want to do is just give you some some pointers, some guidelines, some distinctions to keep yourself really locked in and moving forward. So let's go, let's get into it. Number one, accept the fact that this will be a grind. So where you have the energy and the enthusiasm of a first couple of weeks, now we're into habit and discipline and commitment mode. And that requires a different mindset. It requires a commitment. So your language, your internal dialogue, how you frame things to yourself really does matter. For example, if when you started the year off, you say, I'm going to go to the gym every day, or I'm going to get up every day, or I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. The terms I'm going to do are terms of congruency, terms of power. Now, four weeks later, it's like, well, I really should get up early. I really, I'd really like to get to the gym. I would really like to do this. All of a sudden now, the languaging changes, right? And once that happens in your mind, all bets are off. You have to remember that our mind is the most powerful uh, instrument that we have as human beings. It, you know, our subconscious from our, our heart, our lungs, everything, it really does empower us. So you must control your internal dialogue. The second thing you've got to do is habits and rituals matter. So what you need to take a look at is, am I executing in the morning? So the first thing I do when I'm dealing with a client and they get a little off their game, uh, the first conversation we're going to have is the conversation of their morning ritual or in our game, the Magellan Morning 8. And if we're executing our morning ritual, controlling the first uh, 45 minutes or so of the day, the odds of you having a great day are radically increased. They're just radically enhanced. So the first, so the second thing you want to check in after you do your conversation with yourself, are you keeping your morning ritual absolutely solid? Next, are you executing and operating with a daily game plan? So again, getting back into the habits and our rituals and our infrastructure. You know, like I said, in January you can walk off, of, you can work off of adrenaline and commitment and resolution, but now what you have to work off of is a plan, a game plan. So are you, are you going into your day, each and every business day, with a written daily game plan? You know, with, we call it our Magellan Daily Five. You know, are you doing your contacts? Are you setting your meetings? Are you talking to your clients and prospects about referrals and introduction? Are you tracking things? Are you playing the game that's necessary? So again, it's going to come down to how you frame each and every day. The next item, now that January is come and gone, is what we like to call your whys. Do you have, or when's the last time you looked at the reason why all your goals are your goals, right? So whatever your goals were for the year, right? Health goals, revenue goals, business goals, do you have a strong enough why behind them? And the why can't be, well, I want to be more successful, or I want to make chairman's club, or I want this. That is not going to get it done over the next 11 months. You must have, and this way, this way I talk to my clients about this. I need them to explain to me and give me their why like I'm a venture capitalist, like I'm an angel investor. I, I want to invest in you. But if you can't pitch me, if you can't pitch me your why in a powerful, articulate, congruent way, you don't believe it yourself, so why should I believe it? So you got to make sure you have strong why. Now would be a great time to go back into your game, back into your goals, and retake a look at those whys. Are they really as powerful as they can be? And then the next thing we want to take a look at is you know, our environment. 
So our business environment, you know, are we orderly? Is our, you know, environments either, either propel us to go to higher levels or they hold us back. So your office environment, you know, is it, does it inspire you or does it look like a train wreck? Does it look like almost like a CPA's office on, uh, you know, March 28th or something like that? If you walk into a chaotic environment, your mind is going to be chaotic. So if you haven't done so by now, make sure you stop, t take a day, cancel your, or don't schedule anything, shut your phone off, don't open up your email, clean and organize your office. And for some of you, that's not even enough. You have a negative anchor or negative association to it. And if that's the case, what you need to do is if you can't change your office, like you can't physically move, right, then you want to at minimum redecorate, refresh it, make it so it feels different. That could be maybe moving your desk around, reorganizing the furniture, changing the pictures, maybe painting, maybe different lighting. I need it to feel like when you walk in, it's not your old office. Old office, old mindset, old office, old habits, old office, old rituals. We want to get away from all that, okay? Critically important. And then the last thing, the last thing is your associations. So who do you hang with? Because here's reality. If you're trying to elevate your game and make great strides, but at the end of everything, you're hanging around the same negative people, you're hanging around the people that give excuses, you know, well, here's why we're not successful. Look at our firm, look at compliance, look at management, we get no resources. And you buy into that pity party, right? You buy into that psychology, you'll never elevate. So sometimes what you need to do is you need to, in essence, extricate yourself from these relationships. And it could be as simple as, hey, look, you know what? I'm not gonna hang around the, the water cooler, so to speak, or the, or the coffee room, or I'm gonna close my door, I'm gonna control my environment, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna work from home more often, whatever you need to do. But you gotta ask yourself, the people that I interact with on a daily basis inside of my business game, do they, do they support me, do they nurture me, do they propel me, do they um, help me get to that next level, or are they dragging me down, right? Are they holding me back? Or is there nothing there? So again, these are some things after January comes and goes, your conversations, your morning game, your daily game, right? We need to look at all those things, your habits, who you hang out with, your why. Now is the time to really, now that 30 days is gone, revisit all these. Like I'm almost asking you to do a second business plan, or if you've done a business plan, or if you've done our program, Go back and take a look at it and make sure it's still relevant. How many advisors, how many human beings in general set goals, do a business plan, and then they never look back at it? You know, I've seen this in my entire career. Advisors will take a day, two days, or sometimes they'll just write some stuff down. It's like, like they think about like a tax return. Okay, I check a box. I got this done for the year. And then they file it away and you never see it again. I want you to take out your goals, your business plan, and I want you to relook really at it. I want you to make sure your wives are powerful enough, your language is strong, your rituals are clear, your associations are good, and we're good to go. So with that being said, it's Coach Joe Lucas. Thank you for listening and watching this episode of Magellan Network Show. Check out MagellanNetwork.net. Come play our game for 30 days. So there you have it. If you really enjoyed watching this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the Magellan Network Show with Coach Joe here on YouTube. And remember, I'm always here to help you become a better entrepreneur, business owner, and financial advisor. With that, I'll see you next time on the Magellan Network Show with me, Coach Joe. Take care and goodbye.